Hello Bakugan Brawlers and welcome to another Bakugan video. I am Faisal from the Baku Twins and today I'm going to be comparing two of the Bakugan Colossus. The first one is Dragnoid Colossus versus Dara Colossus. This is the part two out of three versus series I'm going to be doing comparing in detail on three main points. The first point is going to be about gameplay, second point is going to be about the assembling process and the third point is going to be about the looks and design. If you guys missed last week's video make sure to check out is in that video I compared Max's Dragonoid versus Max's Helios. So without further ado, let's get straight into the comparison. Like always, before we start things off, I'm gonna name each one of the Bakugan and Battle Gear that both of these Colossus comes with. So the Bakugan that Dragnoid Colossus comes with is Battle X Dragnoid, and the Battle Gears are New Kicks Gear, Axitor Gear, Blastroid, and Beam Blitzer. And this is Dragnoid Colossus. And then for Darak Colossus, it comes with Brolicus Darak, Smashtor, Riptor, and Exocore. Okay, number one, gameplay. Dragonoid Colossus comes with one Bakugan, one Transformation Hub, and four Battle Gears. As for Darak Colossus, comes with one Bakugan, one Transformation Hub, and two Deluxe Battle Gear as they light up when they open as you can see over here now let's start off with dragnet colossus battle gears the first one is axitor gear it is a silver battle gear with a printed g power of 80 g's and then the reference card that comes with it axitor gear for the pirates rule it says flip a coin on heads your bakugan gains g power equal to the gate at highlighted bonus and for Aquas rule it says change your Bakugan's printed G power to that any of Bakugan in your used pile so this is Axitor gear and then the second battle gear is Beam Blitzer as you can see Beam Blitzer is a really tall battle gear it is a golden battle gear and then it has a printed G power of 180 G's. The reference card that comes with Beam Blitzer is it has Pyrus and Ventus rule. So the Pyrus rule says once during this battle, after a coin is flipped, you may turn it over. And for the Ventus, it says all ability cards your enemy plays during this battle are removed from the game and then the third battle gear is blastroid blastroid as you can see is the tail battle gear of dragonite colossus it comes with a 160 g's and the reference card is quite special as you can see you cannot play it until the power level of the game is number two so you gotta be you gotta wait to use this guy out in battle. So for the Pirates rule it says if your Bakugan is in Battle X Dragonoid, it gets plus 150G. And for the Subterra rule it says flip a coin on heads, your Bakugan gets plus 150G. And the fourth battle gear that comes with Dragonoid Colossus is New Kicks Gear. New Kicks Gear is a golden battle gear with 200 G power. And then as just like Blastroid, this has a power level of 1, so you can play this a bit earlier as Blastroid is power level 2. For Pyrus, it says if your Bakugan is any version of Dragnoid, it changes to your enemy's attribute. And then for Darkest, it says flip a coin, on heads, change your Bakugan to your enemy's attribute. So this is Dragnoid Colossus. Cards, and then its gate card that comes with it is called Fire Swamp, which is silver 150 for Pyrus, 140 for Aquas, 130 for Subterra, 0 for Chaos, 10 for Darkus, and 30 for Ventus. And quite shocking, Dara Colossus also comes with the same gate card, so they, so they both come with the same gate card. But I'm lucky enough to have the, the Japanese version of. 
Dara Colossus, which is way more useful. So as the Dragonoid Colossus gate card, as you can see over here, the Dragonoid Colossus gate card. These are the Japanese version, which doesn't come in these packs. Okay, so now let's start with the with Dara Colossus. So Dara Colossus comes with Riptor, two battle gear. The first one is Riptor. The first, the uh, Riptor is a golden battle gear with a printed G power of 100. And its reference card comes with the darkest effect. It says, every time a coin is flipped, ends up tails, your Bakugan gets plus 50 G power. For Ventus rule, it says, every time a, every time a coin flips, ends up heads, your Bakugan gets plus 50 G power. And then the second battle gear that it comes with is called Smash Tour. It's a very cool uh, looking battle gear. It's a copper battle gear with a printed G power of 80 Gs. And then the reference card that comes with it has the darkest effect. It says flip a coin on heads. For the rest of the battle, your enemy may not gain G power from ability cards nor switch attribute. And for subterra rule, it says you may move one standing Bakugan, not in this battle, to the owner's used pile. So these are the cards that comes with, and the Bakugan, obviously, for Dragnoid Colossus is Battlex Dragnoid, a Pyrus Bakugan with a sev with 770 Gs, and for Dara Colossus it comes with Brolicus Dara with a printed G power of 750, and it is Darkus. In my opinion, all of the Colossus battle gears are powerful during battle. But I should give this part to Dara Colossus as the gears for Riptor can give you a 50G power bonus for each time you flip a coin depending on which attribute you choose from which could be either heads or tails and for Smash Tour has a very f powerful darkest effect which by flipping on heads you could negate your opponent's G power boost from their ability card and also stop them from switching their attributes. However, I should say that Dragnoid Colossus does have a good battle gear which is Axitor gear as uh, Axitor gear has its Aquas effect which allows you to change your Bakugan's printed G power to any, your, any Bakugan you are using in your used pile. In conclusion, like I said earlier, uh, both Colossus comes with very great battle gear, but I should give this part to Darak Colossus. Number two, assembling process. Both are very easy to assemble and put together, as the battle gear are very easy to attach to the main transformation hub um, pegs. However, due to Darak Colossus having less battle gear to attach, I should give this part to Darak Colossus. As Dragonoid Colossus is, isn't complete after dropping the Bakugan in, as you will need to attach Axitor gear at the end. So this part, I would be giving it to Dara Colossus. Number three, looks and design. For this part is always optional and it completely depends on your own choice. But for me, I would definitely choose Dragonoid Colossus as he looks really huge and powerful, which is fitting for the Colossus name. And also, I really love the amount of detail that Dragonoid Colossus has. However, Dara Colossus is also very cool as he looks like a giant scorpion Bakugan. And plus that Dara Colossus has the flashing lights, which makes it look even more special for this part i really should give it to dragonoid colossus because of his looks and design is very detailed and very amazing all right guys we have come to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed this if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more awesome bakugan content and don't forget to come back next week where i'm gonna be comparing Dragnoid Destroyer with McTavis Destroyer. So stay safe out there and Bakugan Brawl.